Naked. Oh, no more. Uh, I know. The National Park has been renamed because of its links to wood-burning, carbon-emitting beacons. Now, normally, when things get renamed, it is like links to the slave trade or links to, you know, something absolutely catastrophically awful. Uh, but this is to do with links to wood-burning, carbon-emitting beacons. Managers decided that the image of wood-burning braziers is no longer appropriate as they try to make the area net zero by 2035. It is now known by the Welsh name, and uh, can I just apologise to any Welsh people out there, Banai Brochinog. Mm. Joining me now is James Evans, who's the member of the Senate for Brecon and Radnorshire. Thank you very, very much. How was my pronunciation? Pretty good, actually. Banai Brochinog. You're pretty good, but uh, need to work on the Brochinog. I, I, I do, I do. <laughs> and no doubt people will be asking me to do that throughout the course of the show. So, look, I read this headline and I thought, this is a bit weird. Should we really be cancelling something for its links to burning stuff? Well, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? You know, when I meet with a national park in my constituency, when I ask them to help build more houses for local people, they've got a key part of that in the planning process. When I ask them to help our town centres, which are really struggling, when I ask them to do numbers of different things to help local residents, I get met with the same response. We'd love to, but we've got no money to do that. Mm. And now all you see is the national park splurging money on a rebrand of an organisation which didn't need to be rebranded in the first place. There was nothing wrong with calling it the Brecon Beacons National Park. It's always been known with that. It's always been known as the Brecon Beacons, and yet again, they're changing things here just to fit a type of culture war. Well, they, didn't they say that it was against their ethos? They want to go net zero, and the idea that it would have had wood-burning beacons at the top of it is against their moral code of ethics. Well, burning wood to me is not, the, is not one of the major ways we emit carbon into the atmosphere. But to me, a beacon is a beacon of light, a beacon yes. of hope, and it's something that people like to resonate to is a beacon. So getting that away is terrible. If you look at the new logo, it actually looks like a fence in front of the mountains. We'd actually try and we're close for business. So thank you very much. Don't come here anymore. Okay. So it, it's, it's not great. And I think when tourists come and visit the Brecon Beacons, which all the businesses in my part that will rely on, I, just, I think they're going to get lost and don't even know where they're going to go. It is. Undeniably a more Welsh name, though. Are you, are you happy about that? Yeah, well, I said I've got no issue with the Welsh language. I'm, a, I'm a quite proud to promote the Welsh language wherever I go. Mm. But I think to rename something and rebrand it is going to be very, very confusing for the Welsh public, for the public coming into Wales on holidays. And I just do not think this was an appropriate use of money when it could be spelt, spent better off elsewhere. And forgive me, was there a massive clamour for this? No. Well, no? No. I'm not, I, I've been in post now since... 2021, I don't know, my predecessor was in post, the MP was in post but since 2017, and I've never had one constituent come and see me or tweet me or anything saying no. we need to change the name of the Brecon Beacons. No. Not one person. Uh, uh, and, uh, look, forgive me, people might end up shouting at their TV screens and going, oh, he's getting angry about hills again. But is this bigger than the hills, right? Is this bigger than the Brecon Beacons? Because is this not just another example of us changing a well-established part of our society, our history, our culture, some would say, in order to appease a group of people who weren't really asking us to appease them anyway. I don't, I don't know. I don't think Extinction Rebellion were at the top of the Brecon Beacon saying, you know, you need to stop burning that wood. No, I, I think it is a shame that they're changing the name, but it, it, it is the Welsh original name yeah. for it. And, and it, let's put that on the record. You know, it's not a big name change. It's a total no. rebrand of the Brecon because it wasn't called for. It wasn't asked for any constituents. As yet again, like you're saying, this is being changed to suit a narrative being pushed online and by a very small vocal minority of people. But just it's in case, right. just in case people are turned off from visiting this thing because they can't remember that this used to be called the Brecon Beacons and it's now called. Uh, I've got um, <laughs> it's on my go. head now. I go. can't even remember. Banai oh, Right. Well, why should they visit that area? Quickly, come on, sell it. They should visit the Brecon Beacons. I think it's the most beautiful part of the world. There's no better place for it. It's got amazing restaurants, amazing scenery, amazing people. Come and visit. You can change your name, but you can't change how beautiful that part of the world is. Come and visit. We're always welcome what and open for business. What a sell that is. Thank you very, very much. Good stuff. OK, that's James Evans, who's the member of the Senate for Brecon and Radnorshire. So, there we go. Right, now, to the latest on...